I was born in New York and um, my mother and I, we were pretty much homeless. So going from New York to South Dakota was a big adjustment for me. Experienced a lot of uh, hurtful, you know, racist things. Um, growing up in the 80s in South Dakota was pretty tough. The same church that I was involved in, behind the scenes I found out, as of course I grew older, I found out you know, a lot of things that were going on that weren't Christ-like. Putting my faith in a lot of people, I should say, um, kind of caused me to really just be angry with God. And so I kind of, I don't want to say kind of, I turned my back. By the age of 18, I was very angry, didn't know my dad. You know, I just kind of just did my own thing. All of my life, I felt like I had to measure up to be accepted by Christ. What brought me even here to Trace and back to Christ was as I mentioned, I'm a, I'm a student at Colorado Christian University to be a counselor. Realizing once I started interning that I can't tell people to do something if I wasn't gonna do it myself. It's hard to tell people to let go of um, or forgive those that have hurt them and done that and I still haven't. So I really began to work on some of that stuff myself. I say by God's divine, um, linked me with Dr. Langhofer. So he invited me to come and I came and I saw one of the videos for Rooted and and just, man, there was just really something in me that said, man, you need to be a part of that. And so um, just being obedient and trying to um, get rid of some of those old things, you know. You know, for the longest time, I've been looking for people to fill this void um, that I've been feeling that growing up without a dad, you know, just really looking for somebody, love, sex, drugs, alcohol, whatever else I got into, to really fill that void, nothing really ever did. I really wanted to get into a Bible study or get in somewhere where God could begin to fill that void. It, it really was phenomenal. Um, God showed me a lot of areas where I needed to extend forgiveness. Um, God showed me a lot of areas where I put faith in man instead of him. God showed me, you know, some of the things that I'm still holding on to that I'm slowly releasing over to him. But man, just really to be in the word every day and just really understanding and getting to know that um, he really does care for me. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter where I've been, what I've done, where I'm going, um, he's right there beside me. Man, I would tell them to really just dive in head first. Whatever is preventing you from going, it's the enemy because he knows how much closer you're going to grow, develop, um, and meet like-minded people. You just really feel like you're a part of a family of people who care about you no matter what life of, or what stretch of life you're in.